or Ghana Commercial Bank used to be wholly Ghanaian government bank established by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. It is still the largest commercial bank in the country but over the years the government has sold its shares and now it's wholly Ghanaian bank but owned by the Ghanaian public. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, owned by the Ghanaian public because it has the government of, of load is shared to the Ghana Stock Exchange, onto the Ghana Stock Exchange. So Ghanaians own the bank still. But now it's called GCB Limited instead of Ghana Commercial Bank. Yeah, they changed the name. But this is also a pro pro poor bank. Because this bank, when you have an account with them, they will never close your account. You can be there for 200 years, and you come back, and you, wow. it will be revived for you the same day. Because I have my first bank account in school, when I was in school, my mom opened for me with this bank, and I still have it. Wow. Yes, so sometimes I, can, I won't put in any cash, I wait till uh, some two years, three years later. I said, "Oh, I have, a I, I want to do something." That I, when, whenever I go, say, "Okay, account number." I provide the account number. So, okay, it's dormant. They only tell you it's dormant account. Just put in something and let's revive it for you, and you go voila. That's an wow. <laughs> yeah. That's an That's nice. So it's a bank for life, <laughs> and oh. they live, yes. GCB is your bank for life. <laughs> yes. yes. Who owns everything? I, I, I was thinking no. it was the farmers, but who owns no. it? Yes. The initial mandate of the Agricultural Development Bank was basically for supporting agriculture, set up also by Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. He also have another bank, which is non-existent now, called for Bank for Construction solely to help build the real estate bank for housing and construction, for building and all that. Then he has another one that he put up, known as the National Investment Bank. That is solely also for people who want to invest in do business and all that. But now ADB and NIB are still existing, but the bank for construction is no more. Yes, it's no more. And unfortunately, until recently, we used to have some few or a lot of Ghanaian banks. But unfortunately, most of them have been liquidated by the Bank of Ghana that they don't come to the threshold. So the banking industry is not dominated by Nigeria banks. Nigeria, so yes. so Agri -Bank Bank is No, Agri Bank is Ghana Bank. Okay, so it's for okay. the government of Ghana. UBA. UBA, yeah. Zenith Bank, Echo. Re no, Republic Echo. Bank, Echo, Echo Bank. Togo. It's Togo. Echo Bank is not, has its headquarters in the Republic of Togo, but it is a bank for the ECOWAS sub region. You know, in the sub region of West okay. Africa, okay. we have what we call economic community of West African states. Okay. Now, this head of state decide to form this bank, even though it's semi-autonomous because they want the bank to function well. They don't want any president to go and say, hey, director, sign this for me, sign that. So they make it semi-autonomous. So it has semi-autonomous status. So it has branches all over the West African sub-region, but the headquarters is in Lomi, Togo. Yes. Okay, it's, oh, back to Agri Bank, is there, yeah. I guess, yes. say for all of it, is there any advantage of necessarily having an account at Agri? Yes, uh, just like the Ghana Commercial Bank, you can open your uh, account with the Agricultural Development Bank because you can open foreign account, you can open CD account, you can open dollar account, you can open euro account, you can open pound account, so you can open foreign account and then local account or CD account and dollar account or whatever account you want to open.
but as you need to be a resident you need to have to open account with the banks you need to be legally resident in Ghana because they'll ask for your address right yeah because yeah because yeah but is it was that always the case that that was kind of recent oh because of because I know 29 other things that have been happening each and every time the Bank of Ghana issue new directives now even from this month you need to show your Ghana card you have to link your Ghana card to your account so if you don't have the Ghana card it will be very difficult for you to transact business at the bank they just want to track money laundering and others that makes sense. so you need to have the Ghana card I'll 